so I'm here with Richard Igo from Telltale Games The Walking Dead. And we're talking about the 400 Days DLC, which is really cool. I know you guys are all really excited. I'm really excited. So what is 400 Days all about? Uh, it's really, really it's cool connective tissue that goes between seasons one and seasons two more than anything. But um, it offers five brand new stories, five, it's the... I guess it's the, it's the viewpoint of the apocalypse as it happens through mm. that 400 day period through the eyes of five different people. You're not limited by saying, oh, I have to start on day one and go through day 400. You can choose any order. And in fact, when you're presented with the characters to choose on the original, you know, the first screen that yeah. you get to, um, you've no idea where their story sits within that 400 Absolutely, day period. Yeah. And part of the fun of the DLC is that uh, you get to kind of put together that story and figure out how all the events are interconnected and interwoven within 400 days. Something that's great about The Walking Dead is just how many different grey areas there are. I mean, there's always choices and there's almost always never a good, easy way out. So have you got more of that in this? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, you guys have just seen the, the demo of uh, one, of the, uh, one of the characters, the uh, guy called Vince, who's trapped on a prison bus. Uh, right at the outset of the apocalypse, and it's literally a pressure cooker of a situation. I mean, it's super hot, uh, mm. there's no way out. There. Well, there's one way out, there's one way of getting off that bus, don't, right? Don't. When without spoilers, yeah. yeah, there's one way of getting off that bus, and the choice that you have to make in order to get off the bus, again, is one of those morally grey things, exactly oh, what yeah. you're talking about. So, oh, yeah, yeah, there's tons more of that stuff in there. It's good. It's, it's already gory. It's already, like, I had, you know, choices are fantastic. Um, and just like there were people watching who were just going, oh, and it, that, I'm so excited for that. I think you were saying as well that choices you make in this and also from the first one right. are going to sort of carry over. So we're expecting, you know, yeah, again, to it's that, it's, that, it's, it's that interconnectivity between seasons mm. one and seasons two. I mean, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to downplay the fact that these are five brand new characters, five brand new stories. Mm. You know, it's a wholly new content for you to take a look at. <laughs> but yeah, there's the choices that you made in season one will affect things that you see in 400 days and then furthermore the things that you see and do in 400 days will kind of wrap up to not only give you a clue of what's to come in season two but also definitely affect things in season two as well. We're in this fantastic room with some wonderful artwork and it's sort of showing like day one through to day 400 so we've got behind we've got the diner that's sort of in a state of just collapse we've got I'm guessing that's the highway in the state of Yeah, that's the, well. so that's the highway that's right outside the, uh, the truck stop. All of the uh, stories in 400 Days take place in and around this truck stop on a Georgia mm. highway, actually very close to the events of, of season one. And the, the idea, I guess, you, the way that you could contrast season one with 400 Days is 400 Days is obviously a linear story which is very much focused on uh, Lee and Clementine and everything kind of radiates out from yeah. them from a story yeah. point of view whereas with 400 days the focal point rather than being a person or persons is this yeah. location and the idea okay. is that if this place could talk these are the stories that it would tell. We sort of saw in the first one there was a little bit of a link with the comics and the TV series so we had like I think it was Glenn leaving to Right. Tell with the survivors. Is there going to be a, any of that, or is this completely separate to everything? We're canon to uh, Robert Kirkman's comic book world. Mm -hmm. That's what we're, our license is from. We're nothing to do with the TV show. Um, AMC is an entirely separate license. Yeah, obviously, yeah. We've gotten to a point now where Robert actually encourages us and always has encouraged us to tell new stories in the world mm. of The Walking Dead. So with season one, it was obviously good fan service, I think, to include Glenn and also have some uh, action happen on Herschel's farm as well. Yeah, and also yeah. reveal some of the backstory of how certain characters were affected in the comic books, right? Right? So mm. there's definitely that overlap there, but now we've moved on to telling these, these new stories. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and again, you know, uh, 400 Days, even though it's not a direct continuation of Leon Clementine's story, it's, it's part of that overall thread. When can we expect 400 Days DLC? Well, actually 400 Days is right around the corner. It's coming in July. Uh, it's going to be available on all the same platforms as it was okay. before. So Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, PC, Mac, uh, and also iOS, of course. Mm. And this time, actually, we're also bringing The Walking Dead to PlayStation Vita. So the entirety okay. of season one and 400 ah, Days okay. cool. is going to be available in one package. And right now that's targeting an August release. Obviously, it's a bit far in the future, but a rough idea of when Part two of The Walking Dead itself will be out as well. Uh, all we can say right now is later this year. Oh, okay, later this year. Fantastic. So yeah, thank you very much for your time. I'm very excited from what I've seen today. I don't want to spoil it for anyone because I, I, I don't even didn't want to even spoil it for myself. But I'm so excited to see it, and I can't wait to see all, all five stories. So thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you for uh, coming to see us. That's right, no problem. Thank you.